Here we are. So I've got a little selection of different colours. I've got a black and a white. Colours for the hair and some colours for the background. I've managed to find the reference that I used on his face for the original picture. It's not very similar to that original picture now, but that's what it was. I've just found myself looking at the reference on the computer screen instead of up here where I've got it. Which is a bit weird but anyway. I just wanted to put some of the detail back in that I've kind of lost along the way. I won't make him exactly the same because he is that much different now to what I've done before. Because I was painting kind of from memory. This will smudge a little bit if you use your finger. Um, you always have to make sure if you're using these acrylic pens though to always use them on a um, on a dry canvas don't try painting them over wet paint when it's not properly dry because it just ruins the pens and it won't work but they're lovely pens actually to use just for doing little touch-ups I've done several full pictures with them as well I'm just still kind of at the experimenting stage with them so I've made his nose a little bit long actually, but I'm not too bothered. I already quite like that actually. You have to try and remember not to go too mad with these because they're very, uh, you know, they're fun to use. So you're tempted to just keep going. <laughs> if you're doing the whiskers, you do have to move quite fast as you wobble otherwise you'll get a wobbly line I'm still looking at the the wrong view of the reference image I've got it on the computer so I can see my screen so I can see what you see and I'm copying it from there at the moment which is I don't know why I'm doing that really I'm trying to take care to leave the painted surface that I've already done showing through. I didn't really want that too scruffy there because that's a smooth, a little bit more of a smooth area. So like I say, you can blend it a bit with your finger. These are lovely pens because if you're feeling like drawing um, or, you know, painting, you're feeling like painting, you don't want to go to the faff of getting paints out or you want to watch television and paint or something like that. Um, they're quite good and quite handy just to get out and put back again as well. To, to pop one or two coming this way, just to, again, it's sort of just to tie it all in. And there's a big area here. It's sort of, there's nothing much going on. I mean, it's fine if there's nothing much going on in some ways. Just feel that, that needs tying in with the rest, this big bit here. Um, and then I will leave it at that. I've got loads and loads of layers in the ink that I did yesterday and it's run and it's sort of blended in together quite nicely. It's very, very busy actually in some bits, but I do quite like the overall effect actually. So yeah, I'll just do some of these little, I'm going to do them with the pen. Now, previously I did them with the acrylic paints on the first day I did circles circular sort of swooshes and then blended it out with some sort of yellow and the circular part was cream um, and I've used a fair amount of the light blue and the light teal that I've mixed up on my palette and it's fairly sort of varied and quite nice so I've got these colours which I intend to use just to put a few spots down here. I really hope this is going to work and look nice. There's only one way to find out. I'm going to start with the blue and I feel like I want one here, about here. And I 
need to try not to make them very, very similar in size. Make this one bigger. These two here have started to form a line with these three, which wasn't really what I was after. I wanted to come in a sort of a an S shape. So what I would do there, I'll knock this one out. It's a horizontal piece there. Yeah, I think that's okay. Another couple here. That one's already there, so I might use that. I think I might make it a bit bigger. It's adding a bit of kind of lighting effects to the canvas. Leave it at that, I think. This is just bothering me a bit up here. It's kind of making itself obvious. So I'm going to just try and break that shape up a bit. And this shape here. And I think the thing to do when you're nearly finished, or you think you're nearly finished, is to have a look and just see if there's any bits that are really standing out like a sore thumb. I don't mean bits that are perhaps not realistic or not detailed enough or because if you're looking at it from a bit further away you aren't going to see those details some of them anyway but just things stand out as being irritating uh, this bit is standing out to me as being irritating because it's sort of it's a light there's a line there and then it literally just stops um, and it's too strong a line to just sort of dis disappear into nothing and there is no colour up here that matches. So I'm going to pop a couple of bits in there just to continue that on slightly. Not too much. Maybe knock that line out. And then redraw some of it in. I think, I think that's better. Of course, now what that's done is that's thrown this part here into my mind because this bit is now the bit that's sticking out to me. Cause, probably because there's more contrast down here now. Um, so if I just. Add a bit there. Isn't it funny? As you start to do bits, you start to see other bits. Uh, this shape here now is starting to be a bit too noticeable. So again, I'll just break up that shape slightly. And then there was another area that I didn't, that I kept looking at. It's like if your eye keeps going to it and trying to work out what it is. This, this piece here I don't like. My eye keeps going to that and trying to make sense of it. All right, that's better I think because it's taken out that big sort of rectangular aspect of it. I think I might just get rid of the ends of that as well. Now we've got a large tan area here. I don't want to get rid of that. What I do probably want to do perhaps is just to echo some of that up here a little bit more so it ties in. Okay, well, I think that's probably enough. So I was about to finish and put the pens down. I saw a few other areas. So I've slightly softened this area and I've tried to whittle this piece of foliage down so that it curves around and 
sort of points towards his head. This area I've knocked back. There was a lot of quite heavy dark vertical parts which I've softened off with different random marks. Um, I've done a little bit of uh, light just around his muzzle and coming away from his muzzle because in fact his whole head there was quite a few shapes like there was this shape here which, I, which I've now made softer these shapes here and also some chunky big shapes here which I found were just taking away from taking the interest away from his face so I've softened those with just by putting some light marks over the top blending it in I've made a few more detailed lines um, just to add a few highlights around his face. Um, I've broken up some of the dark spaces with lighter highlights and vice versa. And I've also there were some dark parts here which I've drawn highlights over to, to break them up and soften them so they're not quite so obvious. And I think that's about it. So he's finished now and I'll be starting a new painting tomorrow and you're welcome to join me. Thank you for watching.